Hi everyone, this is Mozna from Beauty by Mozna and today I am going to be showing you how to do a really simple ombre look with a darker red on the outer corner and a lighter red on the middle corner and the key to getting a perfect ombre look is just having that gradient where it goes from the darkest to the lightest. This also makes your lips look bigger because you are in a way contouring your lips to make them look bigger because whatever you have darker, it looks smaller, whatever you you accentuate this part of the lips by putting a lighter color there, which in turn makes your lips look lighter. So if you want to see how to get this look and keep on watching and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you. The first thing that I'm going to do before I get started is use a translucent powder um, all over my lips and this just seals your look in place. It doesn't let your lipstick feather or go out of the lines and it keeps it there for a while. The um, transition powder that I'm using is just Elf High Definition Powder. I'm just using any brush for it. Anything will work. After I do that, I am going to take a dark lip liner, and this is from Jordana in the color of Plum. And if you're looking for lip liners, they're awesome lip liners. They're only about two bucks at Walgreens. I'm just going to line all my lips with this, and. Be really careful with a dark lip liner because mistakes aren't very forgiving. So take your time with this. I am then also going to shade in the outer corners of my lips in order to to really get that ombre um, effect and also when you shade in your lips with a, um, a lip liner first it really holds your lipstick in place for a longer amount of time. I'm going to do is take a lighter lip liner and this is from Jordana in the color Sedona Red and I'm just going to uh, fill in the rest of my lips with this lip liner. Right now, you're probably like, wow, Mosna, you look really crazy, and I'm going to X out of this now because it looks like crap. But no, it doesn't. Trust me, you have to blend it all in. Blending is key to any makeup look. And then I'm just going to take a smudge brush from Elf or any square brush or anything will work, and I'm just going to blend the lip liner in first. Then I'm going to take my MAC lipstick from Diva, Diva and it is like a purplish dark red. I'm going to apply that on the outer, 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 outer corners of my lips. And like you see, it doesn't have to be perfect at all, just get it approximately within the area. And then I'm going to take my Relentlessly Red lipstick from MAC and place that in the middle of my lips. Then I am going to take my blending brush again and just blend that in from the darkest to the lightest. One thing that sometimes, now that you're done with your lips, one thing that sometimes happens is that it's such a dark color, it goes out of lines a little bit, but you can just clean that up with a concealer brush and just a concealer, any concealer will do, I'm just using this one. And this concealer brush is from Real Technique. And all you do is just go over the outside with a concealer. that 
I'm going to take a highlighter. This highlighter is from Benefits and it's called WhatsApp. I mean WhatsApp, not WhatsApp. I'm talking about phone app. Um, I'm just going to take this and just highlight my cupid bow with it. Then I'm going to go ahead and put this in the middle of my lips. Blending that in one last time, then you're done with the look. Here is the completed ombre look. And if you would like to see another ombre look with like a red and orange or some other two colors, please leave a comment down below and I will be sure to make another video on that and let me know what you think and don't forget to like this video if you want more videos like this. Thanks for watching Beauty by Muzna guys. Keep tuned in for more videos like this. Thank you.